Hey guys, the two idiot heroes here, continuing with our LP of Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Legacy. And so right now we're we're doing our training, our like little training for Sun Geyser Rock. This device is a communicator. With it, my father and I can give you advice at any time during your quest. Yeah, you can use um, those treasure boxes. They have green eco in them. The green sage will explain that is later. These floating you can break them with are precursor square. orbs. Collect enough of them, and some of the villagers will give you a power cell in exchange. Yeah, so these precursor orbs, you're gonna need to gather a lot of them in this game because it's like, I guess no way it's like money, but there's no official buying various things in here in this game. This is a power cell, the most important precursor artifact you can find. You need to collect 20 of these so I can power the heat shield for your A grab zoomer. <laughs> Get a power cell it triggers like this cool cutscene thing. You need 20 of those in order to advance into the uh, what I call the overworld. And these um, boxes hey, you can just you press one of my X blocks. to jump in them. I sent seven of them to each area to look for power cells, but the lurkers must have captured them all. And if you collect seven of them in each area, you get a power cell. They're hidden all over the area. Wow! That last scout fly had a power cell! I'll bet if you collect all seven in each area, you can find even more power cells. That's Blue Eco, which contains the energy of motion. Blue Eco allows you to run fast break boxes, and even activate some precursor artifacts when you get near them. So just run through it and you'll be completely emerged in Blue Eco. Kind of like Chuck Norris, you know. You can run faster, be stronger, that kind of stuff. So anyway, that's Green Eco. It, um, Notice how each Blue it increases Eco cluster your you pick up increases the time you can use its power. Yeah, and if you collect 50 like little green eco, then it equals one big cluster of green eco. I'm sorry, this I only stole is a precursor it's kind door. Of strange to me. It can only be opened by approaching the door while channeling blue eco through your body. <laughs> Concentrated than the floating clusters. This vent will give you a full charge of blue eco, letting you use it for the maximum time. So just run through it and you can get blue eco for maximum time, like like Kira said. And you can just, just stay in front of it and then you can open doors. Good work! The blue eco caused the door to open. With Blue Eco, you can breathe energy into all kinds of precursor artifacts that have lain dormant for years. Those little green balls of energy on the ground are a type of eco. Pick up 50 small green ecos, or one big green one, to increase your health. Jump once, then jump again in the air to reach even higher ledges. And that's pretty much the end of the train, I guess. Like after you get this power cell, you can um take that little elevator thing down to the warp point and go back. And just press the button. Straight and back. Good training, boys. But that's nothing compared to the challenges that lie ahead. Ah, then no problem. We got the moves, eh, Jack? 
We'd love to stay in chat, Big Green, but we're uh, itching to get on with our adventures. Fine, fine. Adventure away, then. And while you're out adventuring, why don't you make yourself useful? My darn green eco-collectors are clogged up again. Head out to the far side of the beach and clear them out, why don't you? Follow the lamps. They'll take you right there. Now, all of you, get out of here! So at this point, you can pretty much do whatever you want. I mean, the main mission is to find the 20 power cells and, and like, um, feel your, your, your air Hey, baby! <laughs> what do you thing. say you and I go cruising on this A-grab zoomer? Rule number one, I don't date animals. Ah, uh, you don't know what you're missing. <laughs> Listen, if you need something to keep you busy, my father always talked about an ancient precursor pipeline hidden deep underground. Some of these pipes end in vents from which eco flows freely, and some have been capped off so that the eco is sealed back. There must be a way to turn the capped vents on. I trace part of the pipeline back to the Forbidden Temple. Maybe you should look there for some type of switch. Okay, so like I said, you can pretty much do whatever you want at this point. Um, you can talk to the villagers and they'll ask for precursor orbs and they'll give you power cells. Um, yeah, you can talk to people and just do missions. You can, there are some power cells hidden in beaches and on the beach where to go to. the video here and next time we're just gonna explore the beach and find some more power cells yay well see you guys later